beautiful. Oh, thanks, Jen. Welcome here. You live in New Zealand, right? Yeah, I do. And congratulations. Oh. And uh, 13 years old, that's, that's unbelievable to be nominated. It, unbelievable. It feels really weird. Yeah. I mean, and especially when you're from a place like New Zealand. Yeah. It's so small, and then our film's so small, and then everything like this is happening. It's crazy. Well, and this just, I mean, first of all, you, you'd never acted before. How did you get the part? It, it, you're in New Zealand, and, and what happens? A casting director, her name's Diana Rowan, and she found Anna Paquin. Mm -hmm. And um, she just, like, she walks through classes and looks at children and then decides that she wants them to audition for roles. And so she did this to me. She was just walking through my class, and then she came up to me, and she was like, she um, asked me if I was of Māori descent, which is the indigenous people of New Zealand. And I what said, is it called? Māori. Māori? Yeah. And mm -hmm. I said yes, and then she asked if I could ride a bike, and I said yes, and then she asked if I could swim. And by this stage, I was really intimidated by her, and I, and I couldn't swim, and I was like, what should I say? What should I say? This lady's staring right at me. So I just smiled and said, yes, of course I can swim. <laughs> <laughs> but... Then she asked me if, she told me about Wild Rider and how it's going to be made into a film and she'd like me to audition and I was like, what have I got myself into, Wild Rider? And I told her I, ca I can swim. Mm -hmm. And then through the whole audition process, I wanted the part so bad, I, did, I didn't tell her I couldn't swim. I, I, just, I just played along with it. She'd go, so you can swim? I'd go, yeah. And she'd go, out of ten, how well? And I'd go, oh, eight and three quarters. And then every week I'd go, oh, now it's nine because I've been practicing. Wait, how long? What was the question that she asked you? A lot of that I heard, but... Yeah. Um, <laughs> what was the question that was eight and three quarters answer? Yeah, she asked if um, how well I could swim out of, and you, from out of, one to ten. Oh, from one to ten. Yeah, and ten, I'll, okay. Yeah. Yes, I didn't know what you... Okay, so eight and three quarters. Yeah, and then next week I'd, she'd say, so how well can you swim now? And I'd say nine because I've been practicing. Uh-huh. And really, you hadn't? Really, I couldn't, I couldn't swim to save my life. And I can't believe you would never... You, 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 Tony can't swim either, by the way, our DJ. <laughs> he can't swim. And I keep telling him, you need to learn how to swim. That's important. You now, yeah. you now le learned how to swim. Yeah. Um, not yet. I not yet. I still haven't learned how to swim. I mean, I, I get by in the water. You were underwater in that movie. Yeah. I, well, we, okay, well, I had a double. Oh, okay. <laughs> and she looked just like me, only uh -huh. the one difference was she loved the water. Like... I'm not a big fan of the water, so... Mm -hmm. Well, it wasn't even about the water. Your performance, you were so natural and so real. There's a scene here, I want to show a clip of you when you're uh, telling the family history and you're crying, and it's just... It's unbelievable. Let, uh, let me show you this just real quick. Okay, so... How do you... How do you get that kind of emotion just being so real and, uh, you know, usually they have to put stuff in your eyes to make you cry. There are these tricks to make you cry in movies where they blow things in your eyes and it makes your eyes tear up, but how do you get that emotion to cry like that? I guess the best thing for me was just keeping the feelings real and I just kind of took feelings from my own self mm -hmm. and I put them in the character and then I changed all the reasoning behind the feeling and just to keep it as real as possible, and then I knew it would come across good. I mean, they offered to do all those blow things, and they, like, blow, like, like a menthol spray right. all through your eyes. And I said, I'll try it at first, and I was just like, ah, oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. It was stinging like crazy. Then you're really crying for another yeah, reason. I was yeah. crying for another reason. Yeah. It wasn't right. No, but it all, you could tell you weren't acting. You were so natural in that and so good and, and just beautiful. So congratulations to you and, and good luck. And Thank you. I know this must be surreal. To, you're going home, and then you're coming back to the I'm Oscars? going home tomorrow because I have to go to school for a week. Uh -huh. and <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I couldn't get What grade that. are you in? I'm, if I was here, I would be in eighth grade, but at home, I'm in my second year at high school. All right. Yeah. Well, you're, you're very special. Thank you very Thank much you. for being here, Keisha. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Uh, everybody in the audience is getting a copy of Whale Rider on DVD, and uh, Annie Lennox will perform right after this.